Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a rare Russian radar station expert. Ukrainian military political observer Alexander Kovalenko suggests that on May the 22nd, in the temporarily occupied part of the Donetsk region near the settlement of Mospino, the Ukrainian defense forces managed to destroy a rare radar station of the Russian invaders, the All Altitude 96L-6E. More and more pleasant and joyful clarifications on the S-400 division destroyed in Mospino. Along with the launchers, a rare radar station was destroyed, the all-altitude detector 96L-6E, Kovalenko wrote in Telegram. According to him, this radar station independently provides the functionality of the entire division and, incredibly, even at the regiment level. The analyst explains that one S-400 division normally requires 91N-6E, and three per regiment. And there's also the 92N2E control radar or, if possible, the 96L6E all-altitude radar. No, 96L6E, I'll decide everything. The result in real combat use? By the way, today the S-400 is in service with China, Turkey, India. What can I say? Congratulations on the successful acquisition of the best air defense in the world wrote Kovalenko. The alleged strike on the target in Mospino was also reported by activist and blogger Sergei Stenenko. Probably the same ATA CMS attack on a Russian air defense system near the village of Mospino on May the 22nd, he said. Let us remind you that on May the 23rd, information appeared that the Ukrainian military carried out successful strikes on Russian air defense positions in the Donetsk region. In particular, According to the Telegram channel Spy Dossier, on the afternoon of May the 22nd, a successful strike was carried out on positions in the area of the Mospino airfield, which is located in the occupied part of the Donetsk region. The attack allegedly involved five ATA CMS ballistic missiles. It was noted that two launchers of the S-300-400 anti-aircraft missile systems, a control center and a radar station 96L6E were destroyed, and another launcher of the S-300-400 air defense system was damaged. According to the channel, there were no casualties among personnel. West is already at war with Russia and their weapons strike Russian territory. Lavrov The West is already at war with Russia and the weaponry it supplies to Ukraine is being actively used to strike deep inside the country. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told the top diplomat has dismissed repeated claims by the US and its allies that they somehow restrict Kiev from using Western-supplied weapons to attack Russian territory. Any such statements are tricks that the Americans are trying to feed to their public opinion or to NATO members, Lavrov argued. American weapons are already being used against various targets outside the combat zone, he added. We proceed from the fact that American and other Western weaponry strikes targets on the territory of Russia, primarily civilian infrastructure and residential areas. While Lavrov did not cite specific cases, Ukraine attacked on Crimea with US-made ATA CMS ballistic missiles packed with cluster warheads. The Russian military reported the interception of three such munitions in the area, with the region's governor, Sergei Askyanov, stating the attack 
had also damaged an empty commercial property near the city of Alushta. Lavrov's remarks come amid a renewed push in the US to officially allow Kiev to use American weaponry to strike targets in Russia. Earlier this week, a group of US congressmen appealed to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, asking him to permit Kiev to do so, as well as to increase overall military assistance to Ukraine. In addition, US media reports have suggested Secretary of State Antony Blinken has been actively pushing the administration of President Joe Biden to enable Kiev to strike deep into Russia. The contrasting positions of Moscow and the collective West apparently stems from differences on what exactly they acknowledge as Russian territory. Moscow treats formerly Ukrainian territories, namely Crimea, the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, and Kherson and Zaporozhye regions as integral parts of its territory, while Kiev and its Western backers still consider them to be Ukrainian.